Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. Rights of companionship and neighborhood. All praise is due to Allah, the Lord of all worlds, who says in his ever glorious book, Worship Allah, join nothing with him, be good to your parents, to relatives, to orphans, to the needy, to the neighbors, near and far, to travelers in need, and to your slaves. Allah does not like arrogant, boastful people. I bear witness. I bear witness that there is no God but Allah, and that Muhammad is his servant and messenger. May Allah's peace and blessing be upon him, his household, companions, and upon those who follow their path to the Day of Judgment. Kindness and benevolence to neighbors are signs of one complete faith and perfect Islam. These traits strengthen the bonds of love and fraternity and spread the spirit of cooperation and solidarity among members of society. The Prophet, peace be upon him, said, He who believes in Allah on the last day should do good to his neighbors. The Prophet ﷺ also said, He who believes in Allah on the last day should treat his neighbors with kindness. The Prophet also said, Be kind to your neighbor and you shall be a believer. Islam has strongly warned against harming neighbors, whether this harm is verbal, physical, or in any form. And the Prophet, peace be upon him, said, By Allah, he is not a believer. By Allah, he is not a believer. By Allah, he is not a believer. He, peace be upon him, was asked, Who is that, O Messenger of Allah? He said, One whose neighbor does not feel safe from his evil. And this is very important hadith, that's why I will repeat it again. Islam has strongly warned against harming neighbors, whether this harm is verbal, physical, or in any form. As the Prophet, peace be upon him, said, By Allah, he is not a believer. By Allah, he is not a believer. By Allah, he is not a believer. He, peace be upon him, was asked, Who is that, O Messenger of Allah? He said, One whose neighbor does not feel safe from his evil. When some people came to our Prophet, peace be upon him, and mentioned to him a woman is performing much prayer and fasting, but she insults her neighbors, he, peace be upon him, commented, He, she is in the hell fire. To this extent, yes, it's very important to be nice to your neighbor. Neighborhood has various forms. As the Almighty Allah said, Worship Allah, join nothing with Him. Be good to your parents, to relatives, to orphans, to the needy, to neighbors near and far, to travelers in need, and to your slaves. Allah does not like arrogant, postful people. One of the most important form of neighborhood is being neighbors at work. This applies to friends at studying or colleagues at any form of work, whether public or private work, and whether it's administrative, professional, leadership, community, or volunteer work. All these are included under the Quranic term, neighbors near and far. Colleagues at work are both friends and neighbors, and therefore the spirit of harmony and integration should prevail among them. The Prophet, peace be upon him, said, The best companions with Allah is the one who is the best to his companions, and the best of neighbors to Allah is the one who is the best of them to his neighbors, to his neighbor. One of the most important rights of companionship is cooperation among colleagues, transfer of experience and giving advices, and information sharing in order to achieve good and perfect work in the best manner. Our Prophet ﷺ said, Allah loved someone who, when works, he performed it in perfect manner. 
The Prophet ﷺ also said, whoever fulfilled the needs of his brother, Allah will fulfill his needs. And also the Prophet ﷺ said, religion is sincere advice. Among the right of companionship also, avoid harming others and avoid avoiding all cause of hatred, struggle, envy and discord. All provision, all provision are this are dis destined by the Almighty Allah. All provisions are destined by Almighty Allah. The Prophet peace be upon him said, the Satan has despaired of being worshipped by those who, are, who engage in prayer in Arabia, but has not lost hope in creating dissension among them. The Prophet ﷺ also said, Jibreel has inspired to me that no one shall die before living his full age. Jibreel has inspired to me no one shall die before living his full age and earning his full provision. So be kind in seeking your livelihood and do not seek it with disobeying Allah. Whatever provision with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala shall only be acquired by obeying Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Among these rights, relieving the troubles of a Muslim and acting with a solidarity during difficult times. This achieved the meaning of the one body referred to the hadith of the Prophet ﷺ that tells the believers in their mutual kindness, compassion and sympathy are just like one body. When one of their limbs suffers, the whole body responds to it with wakefulness and fever. Also the Prophet ﷺ said, He who removes from a believer one of the difficult difficulties of this world, Allah will remove one of his troubles on the day of resurrection. Important, important hadith. The Prophet ﷺ said, He who removes from a believer one of his difficulties of this world, Allah will remove one of his troubles on the day of resurrection. And he who finds a relief for a hard pressured person, Allah will make things easy for him on the day of resurrection. He who covers up the fault and sins of a Muslim, Allah will cover up his faults and sins in this world and in the hereafter. Allah supports his slaves as long as the slave is supportive of his brother. All praise is due to Allah, the Lord of all worlds. May Allah's peace and blessing be upon Prophet Muhammad وسلم, his companions and followers. There is no doubt that the rights of a companionship include for parents and bear, bearing, bearing harm that they may commit and seeking the reward from Allah for this. al Hassan al-Basri said, Good neighborhood is not limited to prevention of harm, rather it includes sharing the troubles of the neighbors as such a trait is the trait of good people, and an act that highly pleases Allah as he glory be to him said, though if a person is patient and forgives, this is one of the greatest things. Allah also said, good and evil cannot be equal. Good and evil cannot be equal. Repel evil with what is better. And your enemy will become as close as an old and valued friend. So we need to be aware of the rights of neighborhood in order to strengthen the social fabric and achieve stability and community security. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to guide us to do good deeds and to protect our country Egypt and all other countries of the world. Thank you.